they may be part of the queer community and you just can't tell by looking at someone. Hello, welcome back to my channel where today I want to discuss a trend I've been seeing around on TikTok where people are telling bisexual women to leave their straight boyfriends at home during Pride. Just because I have my own personal thoughts on this, you can very much disagree with me on any of this, but I'm just coming from my personal experience on this sort of topic. And like always with my discussion videos, I am going to be doing my makeup while I talk just because it gives me something else to do and something more interesting for you to watch. For a little bit of context on my position on this topic, I'm a gay trans man and I have a very masculine presenting boyfriend. So most of the time people assume we're friends because they always presume that he's straight. Because of this experience, I do think a lot of this discourse is not necessarily about cis straight people at Pride, but actually about people not passing enough as queer people. I'm gonna start by talking about things at face value. So let's say this couple that someone is speaking about is a bisexual woman and a straight man. Pride is fundamentally a protest for queer rights, while it often serves more in the direction of a party in the celebration of queer rights. At its core, it is a protest and it should be treated like a protest. Therefore, if someone agrees with the protest itself, in this case that queer people deserve equal rights, why shouldn't they be at that protest? An argument against this specific straight man being at Pride, I'm not going to be talking about the straight people who go to Pride to protest against Pride, I'm talking about straight people who are specifically involved in Pride directly. But anyway, this person could potentially make people feel unsafe at Pride, after all it is a space specifically mapped out for queer people. But the opposing point to this is that this person is there to make their girlfriend feel safe at Pride, he is there specifically to support her and her sexuality and fight for her rights as a person because he obviously loves her if he's going to Pride with her. And I do believe that if he didn't support his girlfriend's sexuality, he wouldn't be at Pride in this sort of way. He could be at Pride protesting against Pride, but he wouldn't be involved directly with the Pride event. Therefore, I don't believe it should be a blanket statement that straight men aren't allowed to pride. And I do understand that I am coming from a biased place with that because two of the people who support me the most in my transition are two cis straight men. And I would personally feel a lot safer going to pride with them over some of my queer friends because I know they wouldn't leave me alone. And they would also protect me if people are being mean to me in any sort of way. So I would personally feel more comfortable with them. But obviously that is personal lived experience. It's nothing to do with anyone else's experience of that sort of thing. So again, I am being very biased when I say that. But circling back on that point, I do understand why queer people wouldn't want straight people at Pride for many different reasons, but we do need allies. And if we keep pushing allies away, they might turn around and go against us. And I don't want that to happen. I don't want more people to be against the queer community because it's already quite bad. We really don't need to be pushing away the people who actually do like us right now and do support us right now. Because the more we do that, the less people are likely to try and support us. I know this video isn't about my makeup, but I am really happy with how my makeup is turning out right now. I went for a kind of frog look. I really like how I did the nose. I've been really annoyed by how small my nose is recently. So I really want to make my nose look wider. And I feel like this sort of shadowing it does make my nose look a little bit wider especially like right here so i think it looks really cool let me know if you like it down below in the comments i know it's very extreme i feel like my makeup has got quite boring and stale recently so we're going to be trying out new things on this channel hopefully another thing that is possibly happening in this scenario is that people are making assumptions based off appearances you have absolutely no idea if that so-called cis straight man is trans or bisexual or asexual or questioning their gender identity maybe they choose not to label themselves maybe they're a woman and they're just masculine presenting woman and then on the flip side maybe you're presuming the so-called female's identity you're presuming that she's a bisexual woman because of how they look but maybe they're the straight one it's their boyfriend's sexuality that they're supporting. Maybe they're not a woman and it's a gay relationship. Maybe they're a lesbian. Maybe they're both straight, but one or both of them is trans. Honestly, you really can't tell. So why are we passively judging people on how they look at a queer event? When it's meant to be an event celebrating not judging people and equal rights, surely they're allowed equal rights just because they don't fit into your idea of what a queer person should look like. I do think that TikTok does make it seem like people are hyper-focusing on other people's lives. And I don't think it's happening anywhere near to the same extent in person because I do see a lot of people talking about the issue of people filming people in public and I don't think I have personally seen a difference in that. I always have been filmed in public because I look kind of strange. I am an alternative person, but I haven't seen an upheaval of that. I don't think more people are filming people in public now. I just think more people are posting it online now. I just think that more people are very aware of the fact that it's happening now and are interacting with people who are doing it online. If you disagree with me, that's absolutely fine. I just personally haven't seen a heightened amount of people filming other people in public. But I do think we have an issue with people judging more people and not really giving people the chance to be themselves. If you are in a situation where you feel like someone doesn't belong, just ignore them. If they're not directly affecting you, like directly coming up to you and talking to you and you don't know who they are, just leave them be. 
because like all the things I've listed, they may be part of the queer community and you just can't tell by looking at someone. Finally, I want to recognise that this trend started with people directly speaking about Chapel Rome concerts, which are very difficult to get tickets for. And with Chapel now being a mainstream lesbian artist, many people feel like straight men were doing the equivalent of stealing tickets from queer people. And in my opinion, no one is stealing a concert ticket because they got one and someone else didn't. And just because Chapel Rome herself is a lesbian and a part of the queer community doesn't mean that queer people are the only people who could support her and be a fan of her. And I do understand that people have been co-opting one of her songs on TikTok to be about bisexual straight passing relationships. But I don't think that this means that other people who are not doing this on TikTok should be told off for going to a concert for music that they enjoy. I'm gonna link a better video down below discussing this by Kayla Says here on YouTube because I feel like they talk about it much better than I ever could and definitely goes into a lot more detail specifically about Chapel Roan, her career and the people who are supporting her currently. So yeah, I'm gonna finish this video here. This is the final makeup look. I do hope you like it. I think it came out really cool. I'm really happy with it. But obviously it wasn't the focus of this video and I do wanna know your opinions on the topic that I've discussed. If you disagree with me, that's absolutely fine. I understand that it can be a very divisive topic to talk about. But if you did enjoy this video, please give a like down below. Comment what else you'd like me to do and subscribe as I try and post a new video every single week and I'd love to see you again. But until then, bye!